And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing at Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So last time we got Meta Nice Meta Nice Sword, yes. I mean it is a pretty meta nice sword. And also unlocked Windy Freezing Seas. But we have a couple of um, treasure rifts to get first. Let's start with the pencil drill. Dig and Dash, Path of Fences. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, there, there was just... You just keep going. Mostly you want to spend your time above ground. Nope! That hurt a little. Probably miss it by like less than a second. Oh no, miss it by 15 seconds, alright. Yeah, you gotta be on point to get those target times. I believe this one over here is the next one. Noble Ranger. Long shots. Noble Ranger trial. And just as I figured, now we have to deal with enemies from all sides. Probably another wave, I imagine. Yep. You would think that my Super Smash TV training would pay off a little bit more. One would be more inclined to think, what training? Yeah, that was a minute 30. Slash Meta Knight Sword Trial. Just slash. Ah, uh, slicer of the universe.
Dang. Like, of course Ricky isn't here. He doesn't want me he, he doesn't want to see me killing all these benoys. And trust me, I would rather not do it, but uh you know I have to do it to him. Oh geez, one more hit and I'm done. Oh good, there's a mini boss. With ads. Wait a minute, I had an extra... Wow, that energy drink gave me an, an entire extra bar of life. That I completely didn't realize. Probably need a uh, minute and a half there too. Yeah. Missed it by that much. And you know what? Before we go into the next stage, well, I'll find it first. Oh, I need to be in the stage, okay. So, Windy Freezing Seas, five hidden Ds, let's go. But I am going to go ahead and top up. Hit him can windy. Dumb. I am glad they, they decided not to have the uh, the ability just bounce around the stage everywhere when you lose it until it inevitably just shatters. Ooh, mouthful mode. Well, that wasn't a jump. Jump. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna need Clever Needle. And we got our first D. Some more collectibles. And onward we go. Hmm. Okay, we need to go on that boat. Alright. Now. Oh. Well, before we go on that boat, let's check out other things around here. I hear that. Dang. I 
a D somewhere, but I don't see where it is. Enjoy three meals at sea. There's two. Hmm. Alright, so that's where the D is. And I guess there's probably... yeah, there we go. Is that going to be time limited? Doesn't sound like it. And there's a third meal. That's 1D. That's 2D. A total of 3D. Much like our adventure. Well, that was just foolish. Ooh. It's over here. Hmm. I don't suppose I can use this to break that. No. There's some, uh... There's some fire dudes up there. I'm guessing that I need to get this. Yeah, there we go. It's like Voring went next level. That's right, you haven't seen any of this game up to now, have you, Jewel? Yes, Mouthful Mode is a new thing in this game. Aside from it being like actual full 3D environments, the main gimmick is being able to um, swallow certain objects. Okay, that's a fourth hidden D. Suddenly out of nowhere, Kirby can't eat some things in one go. Exactly. Ooh. Dragonfire blueprint. I guess that answers our question. We can take our abilities one step further. Like, I, I could have seen making an exception just for Sword. Because it was Meta Knight's Sword. Alright. Ah, jump into the secret underground room. Since Kirby has no teeth that we know of, then tough luck. Kirby's teeth are inside of him. You want to know how I got these stars? Oh, jeez. Okay.
get the thing. No. Yeah, that was poorly timed. That's fine, we can do this again. It's the void inside Kirby that consumes his enemies. Get under. Dang. Get. There we go. Who? And that's our final hidden D for this area. Uh, do we have all of them? Now we're missing one. Missing the first special one. Oh, I have to actually finish all of you guys. Capsule over here. And, uh, yeah. So what did we miss? Find a cave that's safe from the wind. Interesting. Sir Kibble. Blah blah blah. Vortex now can stuff an entire metal ring into his mouth and use it for boating. Use blasts of air to move your boat and and slam into enemies. You can even bust through cracked walls. Bomb. B17 bomber. Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it. Hold aim throw. Throw hit boom. You can run and you can run and throw them too, or roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. The episode where there's a voodoo doll of King DDD Kirby eats out at the end of the episode, and DDD ends up in some kind of void. I don't think I remember that one. Of course, the uh, the four at, at least the four kids version of that anime is not particularly memorable. I would like to see what uh, what it was originally. Anyway, I'm going to wager that we don't have the money right now to upgrade that uh, that ability. He goes to the shadow realm. You can say hi to Bakda. Ba Bakuda is basically Sakura but Baka. A foolish version of Sakura. Um, wait, where is it? So that's going to cost us 803. So we're about 100 short. Let's start with these rifts. Starting with Time Crash Treasure. Stop time, slow world scramble. Oh, interesting. You only get 10 seconds.
but time slows to a crawl while the slowdown is in effect. So basically you want to find like the ideal uh, path through this. Hey, we got the target time. I'd like to see how that looks like from an external point of view. Um, okay, here's one. Tornado treasure. Triple strike over freezing water. Interesting that we got Tornado and then we got... Uh, we got Tornado after Floor Tornado. Let's try that again. Pig Flash, swoosh and bye, Kirby the NATO. Or Kirby the Time Flash, rather. Oh my goodness, this is... This is annoying to try to direct. There we go. Ooh. Dang. Okay. Also, what's up with that? They're just sinking for no reason? There we go. Man, that was tricky to get. Almost uh, doubled on our target time there. Last one. Uh, I was sure there was another one. Are there only the two? Alright. Battle of Blizzard Bridge. Five Hindis. Let's do this. This game is very cinematic. I think most Kirby games are not especially cinematic, but this one definitely spent a lot of the budget on it. Okay, well, I guess Volcano Fire it is. I'm just gonna hit, sit here and hold down Y. Hope that's okay with you. There you go. Night to night. Chimkin. Uh oh, alright. Let's go right into another mini boss, I guess.
Yeah. This is, uh... Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure the Gigant Sword did more DPS. Because this does more DPS than the normal sword and is also less slow. You can stop that now. Uh, yeah, let's go with Floor Tornado, I guess. I'm capitalizing on the whole uh, battle on the bridge theme that they uh, established at the beginning of the level. You know what? I won't bomb. Pretty much the strat with Chain Bomb is you want as many bombs on, like, on the ground as possible. Because uh, the more bombs are chained, the, uh, the bigger the effect. Aha! I knew that having the right ability would pay off. That's gotta be timed, isn't it? It sure is. this. There we go. That's the third one? Have I been missing things like this entire time? I didn't miss this though. Four wanted posters. Like, without taking a hit. No. I'll just go down there, I guess. Don't know how, how I was supposed to avoid taking a hit there, but, uh... I sure didn't. Oh, too many bosses. All right, double, double Mr. Frosties. <laughs> Spank that butt. Oh, dang it. I think I want to use my power up. Feels bad kind of using it this early, but uh, it is what it is. Ooh, frosty ice blueprint. I think this is the moment that uh, 
that Tyrion was was waiting for. Unfortunately, they went to, they went to lie down, so they will not be here for the momentous occasion when we get to uh, upgrade that ability. I think Jewel is being a little Vorny in chat right now. Uh, give me a second here. Yeah, for some reason my stream stats just kind of stopped working. Bernard. This uppity pup is an expert marksman, Pew Pew, who's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under his hat, but that doesn't seem to affect his aim. He also has an impressive sniffer that can track prey near or far. Also, car mouth cake. That's awfully specific. Everything cake now. Yeah, we fell short on that level. Not even half of them. And we did get enough of them to unlock the boss, an unexpected beast king. <laughs> But first, let's get the ice treasure. Sliding road, high speed skating. Someone saw uh, Kirby failing to eat a car and said, My god, this is the, ex the inspiration I was looking for. Dang it. How did I completely miss that? Now at least Kirby is well equipped for ice skating. Let's keep on the ice as much as possible. Ow. You know, while avoiding the obvious, uh, obstacles. Oh, missed by five seconds. Maybe if I hadn't gotten hit there, I would have missed by one second. Alright, so before we go to the boss... Let's go ahead and upgrade ice. We're probably going to be able to avoid that. I'm going to upgrade ice rather than fire. Just for the fact that... Um, ooh, all these item shops. So now we can buy the items that uh, we would get from uh, my amiibo. Yeah, I'm gonna get ice first because it's level one. Fire's already level two. Now we can get frosty ice. We need 502. I think we needed what 803 for uh for the fire one. And we have frosty ice. Let's see what this has for us. 
And just straight up makes no men, apparently. Alright. Not too bad. Here, what? And we're out of here. Alright, time for the boss. An unexpected beast king. So let's see what our selection of abilities are, and as usual, chat will be able to pick the ability that I go into a boss with. Uh, I will leave the choices to the ones that are available on the pedestals, um, which does include Frosty Ice. So we have Pencil Drill, we have Volcano Fire, and we have Chakram uh, Cutter. Or we can just keep frosty ice. No picking the worst, Jewel. You gotta pick at one of the actual options. They're all pretty good. Jolmara says pencil drill. Terry or zero. Or J pop if you're still there. Terry says chakram. I mean, your first pick is chakram. And Zero says Drill, but I guess we're going with Pencil Drill. Uh, can we go around here? No? Okay. So, who are we dealing with here? Who do you think we're dealing with here? What are you doing here? Was this really so unexpected? the circle thing, but it's not really working all that well. You'd think it wouldn't be so hard because the, the camera keeps centering on King Dedede. Just missed. He jumped out of the way. The jerk. There we go. What you got now, buddy?
I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything about being the worser option, but yeah, this is not exactly pleasant to use. It definitely has its advantages, though, in that it's very defensive. I mean, it was until this phase. And also, if you can get the circle going, uh, it does a fair amount of damage, actually. Like, that is a substantial chunk. Let's be honest here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I did get another double health bar because I ended up using my energy drink. Homing bomb. I would have expected a, an upgrade for a hammer, not bomb. Okay. Clear without guarding. Apparently that was a thing. But yeah, I figure if I'm able to use my amiibo once a day, I should probably do that. Swallow King DDD's hammer. Oh dear. You see what's about to happen right now. He is going to capture Alpha Lim, isn't he? Yep. Not Alpha Lim, actually said Kirby. You, you don't often hear people say, like, an actual thing in these games. Club Penguin. <laughs> I mean, I can believe that. Honestly, the less said about Club Penguin, the better. Elphalan has been captured by King Dedede. Explore the next area and save Elphalan. Well, other than Hi. Alright, The Wastes Where a Life Began. That's a title. 3Ds, let's go. Hi, Leah! Wait, wrong game. Uh, did I see something over here? Yeah, coin. I am still a little sad that we're done with Crosscode. I mean, I can still play it anytime I want, but I don't really get to share it with you guys anymore. That just means that we're going to be able to play a different game next time. So at least there's that. Quit that. This chain of buttons here. There we go. That gives us another piece of a star here. I feel is a mechanic they copied from uh, Super Mario Galaxy. That's uh, just me talking. Anything over here? Looks like no.
Ha. Huh. I wonder if I can hit this. I feel like that was real close, but not quite. Also, these jerks. I believe their first appearance was um, Kirby's Dreamland 3. Mer, mer. I can uh, blow away these piles of dust to reveal some prizes. That's pretty neat. Give prizes. So can I hit this with with uh, this now? So I probably need to use gun. I really should tell Jason that we're using gun now. So that maybe he'll actually come to my stream. Let's hold on to this for now. But now that we have the ranger ability, This looks so awkward from the front. There we go. Ah, there are three of them, huh? Alright. I saw a ladder over here. Oh. Oh, this trick. Alright. Ow. Eh. I lost my extra bar of health, unfortunately. At least now we can actually buy an energy drink. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use our amiibo again today. We can only use it once a day. Ah, nope. Nope. Dang. There we go. And I'm gonna hold on to uh I'm gonna hold on to Ranger. Ooh. Crystal Needle. Alright. That's finding all of the, all of the uh, nice blueprints. All right, let's see if uh, we can use anything. If we can use this for anything. Well, there's a couple of piles here. I guess we can can check out. Ooh, those fall over. Gotcha. Ah, here's the real use for this. There we go. That gives us the last one, which will unlock 
Yeah. Yes, indeed. It will unlock that Waldy over there. I'm gonna hold on to this for a second and see if there's any other piles I can blow away, but I don't think there are. We got pretty much all of them. We can grab Floor Tornado if we want to. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't think we would have been able to bring the uh, the ring up here, unfortunately. So and that pile is just there, I guess. shoot that down. Nope. Wait a second. Oh. I was hoping that maybe there would be something that happened if I touched all of them. But no. There's probably a cone nearby, and it's probably not down there. Just a thought. Hmm. How do I get that chest? Okay, there yeah, there's a uh, there's a ring over there. I just spotted it. There we go. That gives us this. I still have no idea how to break this. There's quite obviously... Oh, what if I do that? There we go. Take us to the area with the last D. Those moans? You mean the the ah uh, ah? Uh. Of all the mouthfuls, this is the worst looking one. I agree, Tyrion. That that sound that you were hearing, Jewel, means that there is a uh, there is a wall D nearby. Like, I'm sure you mean like this one here, right? That 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 uh uh sound. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh da 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 yes. Get them from here. I need that one. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna all topple over. Uh, anything else that I can use this on? I don't think so. I did not see any other targets up in the air. Man, this is, this is going to require some time to 100%. Defeat the lost Squishy? What What is Squishy doing here? For anyone who doesn't know the name, that's the name of the Squid. Why would there be a Squishy here? Break the targets! Also, this lady. Lethal Leopard Claraline. Claraline tried to cut your adventure short at the Windaria Circus. She normally has as a point of contact for the Beast Pax and Boss, but she couldn't resist the chance to track down Kirby herself. Her grace and speed are quite impressive, so the rest of the pack think of her as an idol. She, ha she has lots of fans. Boy, does she. Probably the wrong kind. Face cutout photo stand. Tortorner. Tortorner has a whole shell made of concrete as if, as if it walked out with somebody's sidewalk. It has a thick skull and a mean bite, but its body is pretty delicate. A mouthful mode ability might help you crack through its shell and land a brutal blow from above. Alright, so now that we have uh, cleared the first stage, we're gonna go look for some uh, treasure rifts. Then immediately we're gonna get one, two, two of them. Some coins over here. Oh, something here. Some coins. Well, obviously, there's going to be a rift here. Water balloon mouth, interesting. Alright. Here's where the boss is. Are we going to get to the boss in this stream? Uh, we'll see. And here's another one. Scissor Lift Mouth. I think that's all of them for now. Let's start with Toy Hammer. Smack to the top. Hit the nails. Hit those nails on the head. Kirby is the ultimate carpenter. Okay, that was that was done perfectly, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Give it to me. Like that could not, uh, that could not have gone really much better than that. It could have been like a little bit more precision, but that's about it. Gigant Sword Slash and Slice Gigant Sword Trial.
slash. Bam. That was nice and cinematic, I think. These guys are gonna take multiple hits. probably the last group of them, which is going to cons consist of two um, wild edges. Jumping Slash is just overpowered. Ah, seven seconds off from the, the Atari time. Ah, well. Two left to go. Now we got a water balloon mouth, a wash him away, slippery parade. This is definitely one of the weirder looking ones. see it now. Just jump directly back into... Okay, I'm going to restart. I didn't see the switch until I jumped over there. That does have a limit, okay. Don't know why I let go of that. Making things harder for me. Than a second to go. Right. 
Yeah, I decided to uh, release the water at the end there. To hopefully give me a little bit of extra time, and it did. Alright, scissor lift. Stretch and collect scissor lift road. Now I gotta worry too much about the coins here. Just uh, poor timing. Couldn't have really done too much better than that. perfectly fine because we're here. Probably just missed the time though, eh? Yep. A little over two seconds. That is unfortunate. That's all the rifts for now, so let's go ahead to our next stage. Searching the Oasis. Five hidden Ds. I'm not gonna worry too much about um, like rushing to the end. Basically, if if we get to the next boss, then cool. If we don't, then we'll fight him next stream. Not a big deal. But mainly, like I tried to rush it. Um, last stream and just didn't get there, so that's why I'm not going to worry too much about it. And here D. And I definitely feel like there's something back here. What is up with this? Hmm. This one's differently colored. Why is that? Ow. That's how I get this. That's 1D. You know what? You got the right idea. I'm tasked with guarding this D, but just does not care, just wants a nap. Kind of reminds me of Foos, actually. Just wants a nap. Oh jeez, what the hell are you? Oh 
Whoever you are, I cannot defeat you. At least not without something. Shotgun cover coming very handy right now. Oh, nice. Coming in handier than, handier than I thought it would. chest back here, which contains the Buzzsaw Cutter Blueprint. Oh, it's you again. Is there a water pipe nearby? Like, maybe up this uh, ladder? Oh, at the very least, there's a, uh, there's a D. And it is the second one, so we haven't missed any so far. I am missing something, but it's too late now. And I missed the jump. Fortunately, there's a retry star. And to remind the uh, the audience the uh, policy that I have of I'll try everything twice. So in order to not delay the stream too much, I'm going to give this one more try. And if we don't get it, well, we don't get it. Jump! There we go. Number three. I do want to get rid of this this jerk here. Oh, okay. So I guess I do need um I do need the, the drill ability after all. No! Mm. Oh, okay. It respawned. It's fine. Stop doing that. Oh, okay. 
I, in fact, cannot go under there while there is gunk. I'll just tag all these uh, flower buds. Just in case something happens. In this case, nothing did. But you don't know until you try. Yeah, I guess I can't just like... Yeah, I didn't think so. There we go. A mouthful of water. Let's see how you deal with this. I need to defeat two of these guys. Ow. I'm clean all of this up. Because it might result in prizes, which it is, actually. Uh, was there any other gunk on this, uh, on this map? I don't think there was. Nope. But, now we can go under here and see what's up. It looks like a red door. That's an easy way out if we need it. Oh. Okay. We, we seem to still be on track. Nope. Mm. That's number four, unfortunately. Yeah, that didn't go particularly well. Hopefully we can retry that. We can indeed. Dang. Yeah, it's just a matter of staying underground for as long as possible. Wait, where's the last one? Down here? It is indeed. There we go. We got it. Get over here, you guys. You little rascal. What does this switch do? Aha! Makes it so we have access to that pipe. A mouthful of water. And we will be able to take on that second poison token and get that. Um, And that hidden D as well. Oh, and this one too. Let's see. Let me clean all of this up. Just in case prizes. And yes indeed.
Hmm. It's kind of an opening here. Let's see. Oh, okay. No, just we just end up back down here. And looks like that is going to be it for this stage. At least for now. Take a nap by the secret pool. Ah, so we actually needed to get the sleep ability there? Alright. Strong Arm Beast Goromondo. Goromondo considers the local shopping mall to be his personal territory. As part of the Beast Pack's executive council, he's in charge of capturing wild bees and gathering food. He tends to eat all the food himself, he just can't help it. This, be this behavior has earned him an earful from his boss more than once. Car Mouth Kirby. Now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. When he does, he turns into a peppy pink car that can jump and use Turbo Dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. One Dog and One Bee. Wondaria's founder based the park's most popular characters on their two dogs, One Dog and One Bee. These two friends travel through the cosmos together in their stories, working as a team and having all kinds of wild adventures. Well, we're doing pretty good as far as the uh, the D's that are stuck um, in cages, but the hidden ones are uh, generally eluding us. So opening up another rift. And so drill, treasure, dig and explore, maze of fences. Let's go. Oh, can't go under there. Oh, oh, geez. Okay, get out of there. Hi. You guys are excited. Okay, so that opens up. I'm go under this. Out. There we go. I think this was the wrong way to go. Also, we don't have a whole lot of time left here. There's definitely a way to optimize your use of time here. Okay, so that opens up that. And also this here. 30 seconds left. Well, that should be plenty enough to get to the exit. Just over here. Unfortunately, 34 seconds late. Alive Old Mall staff side. This is a long way for Alive Old Mall staff to travel. But okay. Five hidden D's. 
And we're off. You know what? Come on. There we go. I wanted to get that sword anyway. Get some treasure. Let's hunt for treasure. All buried, apparently. Oh, good, this place is haunted. Also, I find it interesting that the uh, the sound is muffled here. Actually, I want to check out over here first. Cache of coins. I feel like there should be something up there, but I can't actually get up there. Also, it looks like our health is not high enough to, uh, to make beans. That's close enough to a cone. It's a nice green cone. Also, I didn't actually mean to... No, I don't want the mouthful right now. I want the ability. Game, please. There we go. I don't know why I decided to press select there. Ow. Uh oh. Um. There we go. triangular peg in a triangular hole. Apparently that's a uh, that's self-nullifying. but I don't see you. Where are you? Obviously around here, I just don't know where. Well, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what the uh, what the solution is here. Did a box just fall on me and that hurt me? Oh. Yeah, now I see it. Round peg, round hole.
There we go. The box did box me. Darn that box. Ow. Looks like we're probably going to be running into a vending machine. That was going to be fun to drag over here. Especially considering how low my health is right now. Probably not the one in this door. Actually, maybe it is. Fortunately, my health is uh, back up to close to full anyway. Unless I have anything to do with it. There we go. Ow. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm going to need your ability, sir. That's number three. Hmm. Ooh. Wild hammer. Interesting. Okay, so there's still the sounds of a D in peril here. There's probably going to be a ring somewhere. Maybe you? No? Um, let's keep looking at it in front. Yeah, so many holes that I can use a uh, ring on. Oh, are you kidding me? I was trying to use the hammer and I accidentally just spit it out instead. Ah. Okay, so I can, in fact, slide. Ah, oh, and I needed the hammer for that! Ah, oh, that really sucks. Can I get the hammer again? Anywhere? Please, game? Can you forgive me for being a dumb? That's the reason I didn't set the swallow option to manual. You're not wrong. I probably just screwed myself out of a bunch of prizes. Well, I got all of the ice cream at least.
Does this count for anything? No. Come on now. Once again, pointing out there is like an imperceptible almost delay from using the shadow cast, which most of the time doesn't really affect anything, but occasionally can make it so that I my jump it my jump reaction is just slightly off. Wow, I am yeah. Like, 100% I needed that hammer. I only got two of the hidden Ds. Defeat Wild Bonkers with a Cutter ability. Interesting. Alright. Gordo Bar. Ghost Gordo. So we're probably going to unlock another rift here, but I'm just going to go on to the, to the next stage. Because we are running short on time here. And we'll do the rift uh, next week. The rifts, plural. Moonlight Canyon. And you know what? It was entirely possible in uh, other Kirby games to just completely boneheadedly. Um, do you have an ability? No, you don't. And to completely boneheadedly um, throw away an ability like that. So. Me doing this here because I set it to manual is just kind of part of the experience. Twin Drill Blueprint? He's fighting all of them. I, I don't think we've missed one so far. Getting into the dark area. All right. Okay, Jewel. Um, well, thanks for thanks for dropping by. We're probably not going to be streaming for much longer. It's just this stage, and then that's going to be it. I like how it tells us how to illuminate, as though we haven't been doing it this entire frickin' time. Ow! Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, but that is fortunate. Checkpoint. Ow. Ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. I need to go over here. Should have caught that the uh, the floor is cracked there. Okay. So what did that do? Oh. Okay.
That's the second one. All right. Very adventurous theme here. Yes, I can. That's all the wanted coasters. Is there any reason to go down there? Yes, there is. Wall D number three. Extremely poorly timed. Okay, this is definitely progress, so let's go up here and see what we can see. The king went over the mountain. To see what we could see. Sleep. It's very tempting to take a nap while in mid peril, apparently. Clear the secret room without falling. Onward toward progress. Oh, geez. And I took a hit there. Alright. Well, that's gone. Forgetting that sliding is a thing in this game. Because you rarely need it, right? Alright, so it remembered that I want inverted controls, that's good.
So far, so good. Why is everything falling? My goodness. There's the last hidden D. I think I got all the rings. I'm satisfied with that performance. I don't need to redraw. Um, there we go. Uh, eat that up. And you're here just in time, so I don't have to leave the stage without an, without an ability. There we go. Hey. So we have those two, and the one we we're missing. Find the treasure. Hiding by cactus triplets. Needless, needless to say, we've seen that one before. Uh, wild bonkers! This mysterious vortex bought, brought bonkers to the New World too. They arrived before Kirby and quickly joined the ranks of the fearsome beast pack. They really like their new look and they're getting along uh, with all of their new co-workers, especially the Mookies. Bouncy. Not really much to say about the um, Dreamland mainstays, but you know. Oh, we've unlocked the boss. Uh, what was Kirby doing, Tyrion? Uh, I might have just completely missed what you were looking at. Anyway, um, so that unlocks the path to the boss. Collector in the Sleepless Valley. But that is going to be for next time. Though somehow Kirby was the last one to arrive here. It does seem that way, doesn't it? What a nice little pond. The town is even bigger now. I'm gonna play Flash Fishing. And also, we might have gotten a couple of uh, blueprints. Oh, that's gonna be expensive. Four. Five blueprints. Oh man. That was gonna take us a while to afford all of those. Yeah, I do have so many blueprints to give you. So we got Buzzsaw Cutter. We got Wild Hammer. Homing Bomb. Twin Drill. And Crystal Needle. In addition to Dragon Fire, which we haven't uh, done yet. So, uh, first answer wins, which one do we upgrade? We're probably going to be able to upgrade like two of them. We got hammer, fire, cutter, bomb, drill, and needle. Hammer time, alright. Uh, where is hammer? There we go. 
803, we got that. Uh, Tyrion, I'll let you pick the other one. And now we have Wild Hammer. So the other options Fire, Cutter, Bomb, Drill, and Needle. Let's go test the hammer. Oh, this is super slow. Wham! Oh, that was a lot of damage, though. And Tyrion wants fire, so we will get fire. Hi. I don't think we'll be able to afford another one, though. So now we have Dragonfire, which we did need for one of the rifts that just opened up. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. We can even like direct it a little bit. Look. Haha, <laughs> I like this. Super long range. This is cool. Uh, that's our collection. Let's just inspect another one here, but I'm pretty sure they're all gonna cost 803. We do not have the money for that. Alright. Pretty good session, I think. And uh, that will take us to, once we return to the title screen here, we've got 37%. So about 19-ish, about 18.5% per, uh, per, uh, per stream. So, I would say that not next week, but the week after, we'll probably get to the end. Maybe we'll get to the end next week, and from there we can start looking into what it takes to get to 100%. But that's going to be for uh, next week. We are done for this week, unfortunately. So I want to thank y'all for dropping by. Thank y'all for being here. We had... By the way. We had Zero. Uh, Tyrion. Tyrion. Uh, Ricky was here for a second. Uh, Jewel. I think J-Pop also dropped by a little bit, maybe? Was he here? If he was here, he was awful quiet. Um, so yeah, the next scheduled stream is going to be uh, tomorrow at 7.30pm or later, Atlantic Daylight Time, and it is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle where we're going to do some fun rando shenanigans. Uh, after that is going to be on Tuesday with the regular uh, long run stream where we're going to be starting on a game that's going to get awfully platonic and the lickens are just going to keep coming will be a little too much to bear. Um, that brings us around week round wheel to our next extra long run stream where we're going to uh, continue our run of Kirby in the Forgotten Land and also uh, on thir uh so far as far as I can tell, on Thursday at 8 p 
p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time uh, is going to be my next and possibly final matchup in the 6th annual Super Smash TV tournament. Hopefully not my last, but yeah, I wouldn't put any bets on myself. Um, but yeah, uh, that hasn't been ratified yet, but I don't see there being any problem unless there is a logistical problem with Thursday. So, um, are we going in there? I don't think we're going in there. Alright, so that's going to be it for this stream. Again, thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.